Hey, it's your girl Kita, and welcome to my channel, More Kita, where style is not defined by your budget, honey. Can you tell I'm feeling a little better? <laughs> So in today's video, it is something different. I'm going to be doing a little get ready with me video for a holiday game night that we attended. And I'm also going to be showing you a great gift idea that I made for the hostess as a holiday hosting gift because, you know, we don't like to come empty handed. And if that's something that you're interested in seeing, then go ahead and keep on watching. So today's video is sponsored by Jim Bean and thank you Jim Bean for sponsoring today's video because it came right on time. Now I'm known to have a cocktail or two from time to time, especially when I'm getting ready to like a special event and I turn some music on, I'm getting dressed, I'll go ahead and make myself a little cocktail. And plus it came on time because I was able to make a really nice hostess gift for the holiday game night that we attended. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you this idea. You can actually do it as a gift for someone else or you can actually serve it at your next holiday um, event. And then we're gonna go ahead and jump into the get ready with me portion. Okay, honey, so the ingredients that you're gonna need is one honey crisp apple, about five large cinnamon sticks, a half a gallon of apple cider, caramel sauce, some sort of like a cute cider jar or just something to put it in. And of course, the star of the show, Jim Beam Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Now for your apple, you can either cut it in cubes or slice it. It just depends on the jar that you're gonna be using. I did go ahead and slice mine the long way. This way they can fit into my glass jar. Go ahead and grab a pot and pour the entire half gallon of apple cider into it. Then add your apples about five cinnamon sticks, preferably the larger ones if you can find it. Now we haven't even added all the ingredients and it already smells so good. It was smelling so good. Now you wanna bring it to a boil and let it boil for 15 minutes before we add the other ingredients. So while we're waiting on the apple cider mixture to cook, I just wanna tell you a little bit about Jim Beam. Now Jim Beam has one of the largest selections of bourbon in the world, and it does include their refined options, flavor options, as well as the highball options. Plus, did you also know that all bourbon is whiskey, but not all whiskey is bourbon? Honey, I did not know that. <laughs> and to be considered bourbon, it must meet the strict standards set by the government. Although the government requires bourbon, bourbon to be aged for a minimum of two years. Jim Bean actually ages their product twice as long and because it is a maximum proof it does maintain more of its flavors. Now once it's been boiling for 15 minutes you're going to go ahead and add the caramel sauce but make sure you are getting actual caramel sauce honey. None of that caramel syrup, caramel flavor, not even that stiff caramel stuff that you put on top of the ice cream. This particular one is Mrs. Richardson and I did get it from Walmart. Now I'm not using any specific measurements and that's why this is super easy to make, but I did take a large spoon, kind of like a tablespoon, and added three scoops of the caramel sauce. Once you scoop the caramel sauce into the pot, just stir it until it melts off of the spoon. And then once you get all three of the scoops into it, you're just gonna go ahead and cook it for another 15 minutes on medium to high heat. And this is what it looks like after it's been cooking for a total of 30 minutes. So I did use these cute cider jars. We purchased a total of six of them and we've already gifted three of them. So I need three more that I need to make. But before you do add the apple cider mixture to your jar, make sure you add some of those apples and the cinnamon sticks that we've already cooked. This way the flavor just gets better and better with time as it sits. This particular cider jar is 32 ounces and I'm going to fill it up with apple cider about 75% of the way. And then I added the good stuff, honey and I filled the remainder of the bottle with the Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey and that's equivalent to about one cup. Be sure to go ahead and mix it all together and mix it or shake it before each drink because all that flavor goodness does tend to settle at the bottom while it's just sitting. Plus, you can also serve this hot in like a mug. You can serve it warm or you can even serve it chilled after it's been refrigerated. If you put a cute bow on this, it makes such a great holiday gift. So now I'm just about to go ahead and get ready so we can be on time. But before I do, I am gonna go ahead and make us a little cocktail. And I still have some of that mixture left over. So I'm just gonna add some of the apples as well as the cinnamon sticks to each of the glass. Pour in the apple cider. For this particular glass, I did use about one to one and a half ounces of the Jim Bean, but you can add as much or as little as you like. Now be sure to stay tuned to the end of the video. I will be bringing you a second drink featuring Jim Bean, but let's go ahead and get into this mini get ready with me portion. Now prior to making the apple cider drink, I did already take my shower and did some skincare. So 
So now you're just seeing me get ready and do my makeup. I have been requested to do a makeup tutorial, honey. <laughs> I am not the best when it comes to makeup, but I will try to make a dedicated makeup video. And I plan on having that out in the new year. The scent that I end up wearing is called This Is Her by the French fashion house Zadig and Valtour. This scent is such a creamy and cozy type of a scent. And I was already listening to music when I was doing my makeup, but decided to go ahead and get into the spirit with some Christmas music. And the theme of the holiday game night was to wear Christmas loungewear. So I'm just grabbing my Walmart long sleeve top, the white one, as well as the holiday leggings that I showed in a previous video. I did wear my boots when I left the house, but I also took my fuzzy house shoes with me. <laughs> and this was just my outfit for the game night. Now the next night we did go out and look at like the Christmas lights and it was really cold. So when we got back, I did decide to make us a hot toddy, but with a twist. For this hot toddy, I did use the Jim Beam Apple, and I won't spend too much time on this particular one because I know we all know how to make hot toddies. Of course, you're just gonna use your tea, add some water. I did add some cinnamon sticks and some apples that I had left over from the other day. And after I allowed my tea bag to steep, I did add some honey to taste, and then one ounce of the Jim Beam Apple to have more of an apple flavor. And that's it, just a super easy way to put a spin on a traditional drink. So I hope you guys enjoyed this getting ready with me video as well as this video featuring Jim Bean. And if you did, please go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. Be sure to check out the description box down below if you do wanna shop the recipe and make the recipe. I think it would be a great hostess gift. Not only can the hostess enjoy, but everybody else at the party can actually partake and enjoy it as well. So I've already gifted three of these. We made three of these already and we gifted them. We do have three more because we bought six of those jars. So that was just a great gift idea. And you saw the big bottle that I had, so I'm able to use it for all of them. So definitely be sure to go ahead and check out Jim Bean. Check out the link down in the description box, but also leave me a comment down below and let me know, is there anything special that you typically bring you know to the hostess or any event that you go whether it's drinks or food let me know down in the comments box I know when it's usually girls night there's definitely some type of libations that my girlfriends are bringing over <laughs> what does that say about us but anyway if you do want to see more fashion as well as more lifestyle content and of course more keto honey then go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell and I will catch you guys in the next one